Hey dear friends, welcome back to, to the JavaFX tutorial in this episode. I'm gonna show you uh, how you can work with uh, JavaFX table view and also how you can work with uh, the tabs connectivity in JavaFX. So, and please make sure uh, subscribe my channel. Uh, like the videos and comment uh, any question you have so let's get started okay so let's get a project in JavaFX FXML application I want to name the my application is seeding uh, student uh, student tracker app. okay student tracker app like this st up so I want to change this to me dot bar name dot men Okay, this is the main file, and also I want to change the uh, document uh, main docs. Okay, so let's create STA app. Okay, our project uh, is created, so let's run. Now it is a simple Hello World application, as you can see it's created by netbin so it's created by netbin we don't code okay here yeah. so let's open this file okay this file this is that so what the fuck okay close this we don't need this okay also we don't need this this is our main file this uh, here is a fix uh, fx loader and it loads this main docs.fxml and assign it to the root and then we pass as a layout for our scene and then we put it in our stitch okay that's great so I want to delete this okay I want to delete this delete okay delete the label also okay and let's make it bigger and then let's make table view table view yeah this is a table view okay and from here choose the id and type an id for your table view this is my table view also you can put the id from this tab the code tab okay as you can see here is id okay from the layout you can make it the layout of your table and this i want to make zero okay from here also from here also and from here also but I want to make I want to resize this okay that's great this is a table view this is student student name oh sorry this is the student ID student name 
I want to copy the name. Okay. And let's add some other column. Wow. This is oh three no. I want to add table column. This one. Okay. Student name, student username. and student password okay okay select your table view and go to the properties and here in column resize policy choose the constraint and the column will laid out led to your table okay so that's nice let's make here this is the column ID cal name cal username and call password okay so everything is okay right now let's save let's save it okay that's great and let's go to netbean from here you can write by your hand like this if xml okay and then create your private your variable table view like this of class student for example for now student is not accessed and table this variable is as like as your id it is this is the id you should copy that and paste it here okay like this but the need being fortunately it will create for us my controller as you can see all the variable is created here so I want to make a method public void set column Oh, you need, you need column, okay? You need columns. Like this. Uh, yes, that set seal value factory new property value factory, okay? For example, here is the ID. And now we need an entity for our table. Okay, now let's create that. I want to create an student class in me that pronome that entities. Okay, that's great. Let's make it. okay let's make that we should make an entity okay now as you can see it doesn't have access to the entity so what's need here we need to add the eclipse link libraries okay this is the gpa2 add that and also we need the MySQL JDBC driver added that also yeah that's great okay now you have access to the entity annotation okay this is an entity 
and also let's add an ID okay this ID should be auto increment so by generated value you can make an auto increment with this right strategy generate the type identity okay now make it our uh, our variable student id private integer id okay or you can make the id long in long id okay that's great also you can use the column annotation for example the column name is stdid okay student id in our database will be the name of our id column stdid this is actually will create in in the database okay also you will need you do need that if you don't use the table annotation the after uh, that time this will be used as your table in the database but I want to make it change table and dish by table annotation I want to change the name of my table to students okay like this students this is a table which will be created in our database also as you can see there is some problem okay you see the name username and password so let's create that copy this okay paste it and private string name private string username mm, private string password okay so I want to change it std name std username or don't we didn't we didn't need this okay by this username and this one passcode not password okay so let's create uh, let's create the getter and setter okay select all also let's create a t string okay uh, by t string we return the ID me dot name dot entities we don't need this just return the ID okay or ID or name I want to return the name no problem also let's create constructor method with the ID okay now the constructor method also created that's nice So now we need a configuration file. Okay. 
from here or if it is not listed here you can go to the other configuration file is used to configure it to can to configure your database okay go to the persistence and persistence you need okay this is your persistence you need and from here you can choose your database by new database connection you can choose here from here my scale connect driver go next and from here you can choose your database uh, database was this database I want to copy it and paste it here I don't have any password the username is root and test the connection as you can see the connection is succeeded then go to next and click next finish unable to the to add connection because my connection is exist from before so just I want to choose that students tracker and then finish from here you can choose table generation strategy create because we don't have create any table in our database we want to we gonna till the GPA uh, which create our table okay so click finish yeah that's okay that's okay and let's make a controller now this is a K okay let's make a controller for our class for our entity student we forget something else now we have our entity so instead of this we need to add the student okay control c control v and this is long long okay and this one and string copy this and paste it here also in here oh that's that's nice now copy for for this column name column username and column password okay this is name this is username and this is password this 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 actually the name of variable in your entity class okay also implement from serializable interface that's better way now what's create the default constructor method okay a default constructor method is good so that's great and also call this inside your in, in method okay and what is need now also we need so let's continue okay that's great and also we need a method uh, we need a method public which returns a list for our table we choose the observable observable list half student okay 
get students data okay now i want to make a variable data now data is equal to also data is equal to fx collections oh sorry fx collections dot observable array list okay and then return the data okay so let's let's set our table view items by the set items method and then call the get students data okay oh that's great but now the this collection returns an empty list there is nothing so we need to create a method create a class okay student controller controller student controller inside package counted bar nome that entities controller okay and finish okay this is our controller class in the controller class I want to create two variable private entity manager factory entity manager factory okay entity manager factory emf private and entity manager okay yeah make sure it comes from the persistence package okay and make constructor method here you can initialize it by persistence class that create entity manager and pass here your persistence unit our persistence unit is this okay and then em is equal to emf dot create entity manager now you can you can control your entity by em yes that's nice so let's let so let's make a method public public list of student the written type okay student get students okay this should return the students okay and this and here the students uh, let's make a type query okay let's make a type query so em dot create query let's make query select A student from table from entity student okay s and then here I'll see student that class and put it inside a query variable let's make a local variable 
type query query and then from here return query that get result list okay what the list so I think there is nothing no problem we have here so this is this is great select s from student actually this name is this okay okay that's great so now go to your main controller and here let's make a variable student controller okay student controller uh, std con and then here std con dot get students okay now your list is not empty but still is empty because we don't have any data in our we still don't have any table so f data is equal to now then then return an empty list okay then return an empty list then return an empty list from here so from here we return just an empty list so that's great otherwise you can return the data so so now everything is done let's run our application okay okay there is some problem there is some problem this is because of when we add eclipse here is something in processor added by eclipse just remove this okay now as you can see the problem is in build let's run again okay now the problem is something else okay now in, uh, what's now in built is not the problem as you can see here still there is no class there is no table problem is in controller okay okay and also in also there is null Oh, if this was null, we just return the data. Okay, else, else return this data. Okay. T 
still there is some problem The problem is you, we didn't initialize the student controller object. Student controller object, okay. Now let's run again. Let's run again. Yeah. Now, actually, the there is no null pointer exception. Our table will still is not created. So let's see what is the problem now. In a student controller. Well, the problem is here okay select student s from student s dot class so We forgot the from okay. Select this from student as not this is okay. Okay, now you have another problem. We have another problem. Okay, again in here. Okay, okay, the problem is it is Tilas uh, Tilas that that abstract schema type student is unknown this is because of in persistence file we didn't add our entity class okay so you should add it from here also now save and then run okay yes that's okay now there is no problem okay and also our table is created here okay but we doesn't have any data so let's insert some data for example Muhammad passcode for example Muhammad and username is for example Muhammad and also valley valley and valley let's run okay now we have three students here and let's run again okay that's working nice as you can see here we have to record of our students okay so thank you for your watching and see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe my channel goodbye